Hare Krishna. Welcome to our brief lesson on Sanskrit vowels. We'll be going over their pronunciation and their transliteration according to the international standard. It'll take just a few minutes, so let's get started. There are 13 vowels in the Sanskrit language and they are differentiated not only by their vowel sounds but also by the duration for which they are sounded. Thus we have short vowels and long vowels. Hitting the precise vowel sounds makes all the difference in the quality of our Sanskrit pronunciation. Let's see what this means. We start off with the first pair of vowels. These are sounded as follows. A A Notice how the first short vowel was just a short wrap of a sound, whereas the longer vowel was more drawn out. Also, in this case, the vowel sounds themselves are distinct. Listen carefully one more time. A A Let's move on to the next pair of vowels and they are sounded as follows. E E a vowel letter with a bar over it or a line over it is always going to be long. I'll say them one more time. E E The next pair of vowels are sounded U U Notice that the long vowel has the bar or the line over it. I'll say them one more time. U, U. The next pair of vowels are pronounced R. This is the vowel sound in the name Krishna, R. The long version of this vowel is pronounced R. This vowel sound is extremely rare. And at this point in the course, don't worry about it too much. I'll say them one more time. R. R. The next vowel is also very rare and is pronounced L. L. The last four vowels are all long. A, I, O, O. Notice that they're all long, but they don't have a bar or line on top of their letters. Keep that in mind when you're reading out Sanskrit transliteration. I'll say them one more time. A, I, O, O. And that completes the list of 13 vowels. Let's go through them all at once now. Read along if you like. I'll go through them slowly. A. Uh. A. Ah. E. E. U. U. R. R. L. E. I. O. O. Apart from the 13 vowels, there are two ornaments to the vowels. The first is called the Anuswara. Anu means to follow and Swara or Swara means vowel. So this literally means that which follows a vowel. The Anuswara is a nasal M sound similar to the M at the end of the English word sum. 
Its exact nasal pronunciation actually differs slightly according to certain grammar rules, but at this point, for our purposes, we can pronounce it like a nasal M. So, for example, we would pronounce Balam and Samsara. The second ornament is called the Visarga, and this is simply an aspirate where the breath is expelled in a very short burst along with the preceding vowel sound. Some examples to illustrate this are Shaktihi Kamaha Ubhayoho Notice how the Visarga always takes on the preceding vowel sound. Now let's go through a few examples to illustrate how to read these vowel sounds and how important they are in correct pronunciation. Let's start with this word. The way it's written right now, the two syllables in this word are B and J. Both the vowel sounds are short, so this word would be pronounced Bija. However, if we made the second vowel sound long by putting a bar over the A, this word would now be pronounced Bija. Bija. If we made both the vowel sounds long, this would be said as Bija. Bija. And finally, if only the first vowel sound was long, this would be pronounced Bija. Bija. And the word Bija in Sanskrit means seed. So do you notice how much of a difference it makes to hit the right long and short vowel sounds? Let's try one more example. Komala. In this case, all three vowel sounds are long. The O is always a long vowel sound and the A with a bar over it is a long vowel sound. So this word is pronounced Komala. In this case, we would say Komala. Komala. And finally, this would be pronounced Komala. Komala. The word Komala in Sanskrit means gentle. Let's try another example. Kumuda. Listen carefully to the difference between the short and the long vowel sounds. Kumuda. If both the first two vowel sounds were long, this would be said as kumuda, kumuda. And finally, this would be pronounced kumuda, all three vowel sounds being short. Kumuda. Kumuda is a kind of beautiful flower. Let's try one last example. Sadhana. All three vowel sounds in this are short, so our three syllables are S, Dh, Na. Sadhana. In this case, the three syllables are S, Dha, Na. So this word would be pronounced Sadhana. 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 And finally, Sadhana. Sadhana. The word Sadhana in Sanskrit means spiritual practices. This brings us to the end of our short lesson on Sanskrit vowels. We hope you found this helpful.